stand by the rod of the apostolic i move you forward moving to your destiny the first thing that the prayer that engenders dominion produces is access to the voice of god if god is not speaking into your life you'll be in trouble it is by prayer that divine purposes are born when a man who dominates by prayer is praying one of the things that he catches from the realm is the voice of Yahweh. the church is supposed to be the only solution of the world but when the glory is lost men will have no choice but for look, to look for help from another sources and because they are looking for help from another sources other alien reality will be imported into their soul what I'm telling you today may look strange to you, but these are normal realities currently going on in the Western world. And because we are all controlled by the internet now, everybody is educated by the Western world. Your children of 13 years know more than you know. The cartoons they are watching, they are not watching boring programs. The type you show them in children's school. It's not what you show them in children's Bible study that they are watching in the cartoon. You bring them to children's Bible study and you are telling them dead stories without a show and a proof of the glory. And the moment they look at the cartoon, they see aliens that fly. They see aliens that operate with superhuman body ability. So every time you come into the parlor, they are jumping on the chair because the alien is their role model. When you call Jesus, they say, who is he? Because you cannot show the glory of the kingdom. And because you cannot show the glory, they will look for another kind of glory. And the glory has been wired into the cartoon to re-educate their minds, to reprogram their minds. Most of the cartoons you watch now, they are gay expressions in those cartoons. And your children of nine years know everything about gay. And as they are looking at it, every day is reprogramming their thinking faculty. That it is normal for a woman to love a woman and for a man to love a man. They also know that a man has the right to change his genitals and become anything he wants to be. And then you bring them to church, sit them down and tell them to sing a song. You sit them down and you are reading ancient stories that you cannot validate to them. The more you do it, the more church becomes boring to them. And they want to run out of church and go and see Nicolaitan. And as they are seeing Nicolaitan, they are seeing beasts living with men. Because they are teaching them what will happen. That very soon, beasts will live with men. You are the only one who is not aware that aliens are already entering the earth realm. Your children already know that it is natural for beasts to live with men. Check all the cartoons they are watching. Beasts, aliens are living with men at the same time. And now their minds have been prepared for the war to come. Meanwhile, you are here quoting scripture without a manifestation of the glory we are here doing religion about church without understanding what is at stake the glory must be returned if we will be able to colonize the world what adam lost was not a religion what adam lost was not money when you read genesis chapter 1 there were five things God gave Adam. Number one, he gave him his image. That is his glory. He said, let us make man in our image. Number two, he gave him his, his, his likeness. That is his way of life. Number three, he gave him his authority. Let them have dominion. Number four, he gave him fellowship. In the cool of the day, the voice of God came walking in the garden. And number five, he intended to give him his life because he planted the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the garden and he also planted the tree of life in the garden. The things Adam lost are not the things we are pursuing. We are pursuing cars. We are pursuing excellence. We are pursuing money. Whereas the world is using the same thing we are pursuing to deceive us so that we will lose our true inheritance. And so I told you a conference like this is not a conference of God bless me with money a conference like this is a conference of god what did i lose that made me become a normal man because you didn't create me to be a normal man you created me to be a manifestation of the divine 
You created me to be an expression of God. You created me to be a visible manifestation of the divine dimension. What is it I lost that have made me become a normal man? And as you are pressing, you are looking for that thing that is eternal. The moment you lay hold on it, you can begin to sing a song and somebody is receiving an impartation. You are singing a song, somebody is receiving a revelation. You are singing a song, somebody is receiving a vision. You are singing a song, somebody is receiving wisdom. And the wisdom you sang becomes the wisdom that led to a witty invention. Because you are not singing a song, you are conducting the glory of God. You have found what you lost. This is why we gather together that we remind ourselves the things that we lost and fight to reclaim it. The battle of reclaiming the things that are lost is what we call the travail of rebirth. We are not praying and pressing just to prosper. I told us yesterday, if it's about prosperity, then Elon Musk alone is enough to handle the problem of the church in Gombe. But God forbid that what we are looking for is mundane. God forbid that what we are looking for is what the sons of the hidden can give to us casually. What we are looking for is what the world herself have never seen. This is why I said the endless expectation of creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. When you get that in, every other thing becomes a byproduct. And I told us yesterday, one of the ways to route this glory is suffering. When you begin to suffer for the sake of Christ, you will discover that these things begin to break out of your spirit. And we took time to exhaustively look at it this morning. And tonight, I came to let you know the second way to rout this glory. Because you cannot remain like this. If you remain like this, if you end up with a million dollars, you are still poor. Because your true value cannot be calculated by money. When you find your value, money will be attracted to you. But much more than money, there is something you have that money can't buy. This is why we press for the glory. If what defines us are cars, we are in trouble. But when we find what God has put in us, cars will come as byproducts. Companies will come as byproducts. Finances will come as byproducts. But those things don't judge us. Because when you take those things away, we are still more than conquerors. Because we make those things, we make it again. What is the second way of routing the glory? Which is what many of us will begin to do today. The second way to route the glory is to begin to believe in the life beyond the natural. Refuse to be hedged in to the natural life. The